guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading with another Christmas tutorial for these beautiful beaded Christmas stars. Don't forget that when you change colors or invert colors, you could have so many different variations and you could have so much fun by making them. And now I will show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make them by yourself. They are really easy to make and the materials are also easy to find. So now, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my store where you could find inspiration and ideas for presents and down there in description there is a free USA delivery code and a link to it and I'm also linking to it here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. Two colors of 11 oz seed beads and one color of 8 oz beads. And here I'm using ear wires. I use Nemo beading thread that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. It's nylon thread. Uh, this model works better with nylon thread than with monofilament and here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers if I need to go through the difficult bits but they are not obligatory and now I will put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and now I'm going to take 5 8 -oh beads. Okay, and I have my five here, and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop and going once, twice, three times through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling. And now I will make one more knot here, like that. And now this is what I have here. And I'm going through this H.O. bead, like that. I will take now one red bead. And I will go through the following ato. Then I will take one more and go here. And I will continue this until I finish this row. Okay, and in my last step I'm going through my golden bead and then through the red 11 -o. okay? Now I will take five seed beads. Okay, I have my five here and I will go through the next seed bead and pull. And I will repeat this again. 5, go here to the following, ok, I'm going here through this one. Okay, and here, and now I have this. Okay guys, now what I want to do is go through three 
seed beads in this direction. And here I want to take three golden beads. Like that. Then I will go through two of my reds. Take just one golden and skip this one in the middle and go through the following. Okay, and pull. Then one, two, three, exiting out of the third one, which is my middle one. Here I have one, two, one, two, and this is the middle bit here. And I need three golden beads going back in circle making right angle weave across of four beads this means across of four beads including this red in the middle and I'm taking just one bead here going through these two And exiting here out of the third one. Three. Go back in circle. Two. I want to take one. And go through three beads pulling and I want three go back here through two beads and then go to the next three Okay, then I need three golden beads. I'll go back in circle through this one. Go through the following two. Take just one. Okay, and now I'm going through this red one. And now guys, it's easier for me to flip my work in this way because I prefer to work in this direction, I'm right-handed. That is why I will go here through this bead. I want to go through all of those three beads at the top of my work, like that. And now it's time to take two of these beautiful seed beads, like that. Go through this central bead that you added. Oops, I need a little bit of fixing here. Then I need two more. Go here in the next one. Okay. Go through the following two, take two, go here, two more, go in the next one. Okay, now I will stick my needle in my mat and I want to cut this tail thread because it's always in the way. Cut it as close as possible to your work. 
Okay. Now I will continue the same way going through these two beads here taking two more beads going in the middle and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have my next row ready and it looks good enough to stop your star like this, but I'm going to continue the same way. I will take three red beads this time. I will go around in circle through this one. Then I will do the same thing, go through all of those three beads like that. Okay, reinforcing. Then I'm going to go through these three golden beads. Take just one red bead and go through these three beads here. Now exit at the top. Take three go back like this and you could go reinforce or not whatever you want and go through the following three beads it is the same thing that I did before just now I'm going through three beads instead of two Okay guys, and now what I want to do is go through this golden bead at the top. Then I want to go through all of those red beads. And now it's time to flip my work. I prefer to flip it. If you want, you could continue in this direction, but I prefer to flip it because it's easier for me to work counterclockwise. Okay, here I have three beads, this time add three beads and go through this central one. Okay, then you need to add three more, go here, and through this one go through all of the three at the top and here guess what I need three more beads go here inside three go here then here Okay, now go here in the middle of your work. Okay, three more. And now I will continue this until the end of this row.
Okay guys, and now what I want to do is take my ear wire and <clears throat> I will take one seed bead, go here through my ear wire and take just one seed bead and go here. Now you see what I have, a seed bead, an ear wire and a seed bead and I pull and then what I want to do is go around in circle reinforcing this part here okay and what I want to do is go through all of those bits here go here at the angle and make a knot okay and in order to do this I'm making a loop going once twice you could do even three times if you want through the loop you've made and go through the following seed bit you could continue making more and more knots and uh, when you're ready go through the following seed bit and cut your thread don't ever cut next to a knot. Always go through the following bit and then cut it. Okay, so now my Christmas star earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my Christmas star earrings are ready. So if you enjoyed my tutorial, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. In this way, you will be sure you will never miss a thing. Okay, and don't forget that when you make uh, beautiful beading stuff, when you change colors, Everything changes so beautifully and you could make so many different variations. So if you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment and I promise I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my store where you could find beautiful stuff for, for presents. You could find link in description and here at the eye icon and I have a free USA delivery code. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from